Okay, so I'm here with the battle developers and just as a bit of context, it's uh, midnight and I sent them a message like 20 minutes ago saying, can we meet like right now? And they were like, yes, let's do this. So thank you, <laughs> surely thank you for that. And the first question that I have for you is obviously uh, as somebody that has never used battles before, what is battles? Like if you open up battles, you might ask, okay, what do I do now exactly? Okay. Uh, hi everybody, I'm Pietro. With me there is uh, Mirko. Hi. <laughs> and do you want to answer? I answer. We prepared nothing, right? So. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's midnight, so <laughs> I'll an I answer, okay. So... Botos is just an application to uh, run Windows software on Linux. This is the, the best uh, explanation I can, I can drop about it. The TLDR, uh, too long to read. Yeah. So this is similar to Wine to some extent. What's the exact difference? It uh, um, it used basically Wine. Yep. And what's like uh, the difference? Why using uh, battles to handle uh, Wine? Battles uh, helps you to uh, automate um, many steps you should perform manually to be sure a software runs. For example, uh, to run certain apps, you need the uh, .NET framework, PC redistributable, and other dependencies, just even fonts, for example. And you should install uh, all those dependencies manually, running with Wine, being sure everything is set properly. Bottles provides you an easy way uh, thanks to our uh, preset environments, for example, to manage uh, the installation of those components uh, via a one-click install, thanks to our catalog, and most importantly, helps you to manage the wine prefixes. Uh, a short description is uh, uh, for a wine prefix is uh, an area where uh, one or more applications are living together. So imagine a wine prefix as uh, uh, the standard Windows structure, C programs, C windows, uh, um, system registry, uh, and so on. So a prefix is uh, like a, a Windows environment where you put all your software. With this management, uh, uh, you are uh, easily allowed to install multiple softwares that have different dependencies that if on Windows somehow in the backend is automatically managed, via Wine you could incur in uh, uh, conflicts. For example, two different apps uh, may require two different versions of uh, some kind of framework where uh, those versions of the framework can't be installed in the same wine area because it's not managed properly by wine itself or by the framework itself. So splitting in prefixes, you have a set of software that doesn't break uh, running different software. Yep. Okay, understood. So I know that you recently gave this talk at LAS. How did it go? Was it fun? <laughs> uh, was absolutely fun. I enjoyed it a lot. Uh, it was your first, first talk, right? Not really. Uh, was first talk uh, uh, for Linux, for Linux. Uh, was first talk of... Um, um the topic the, the topic itself uh and was a lot different uh with other times i spoke to a crowd uh so it was kind of new to me um and has been well as i said really funny 
the result, I'm, to be honest, I'm not 100% satisfied about the performance it, uh, itself. I made some mistake. I also said uh, that we use uh, GTK to build uh, wine that is completely <laughs> wrong <laughs> because uh, uh, was, uh, uh, the, the acronym used the same three letters, but in a different order. And while speaking, I said, ah, yeah, we use GTK, a uh, tool to build wine. And while saying it, I was like, oh, wait, uh, it's not GTK. Then, but I continued to, <laughs> to avoid <laughs> to say, yeah. uh, I don't remember the correct orders of the letter, <laughs> uh, <laughs> what I'm saying. <laughs> so KTJ uh, is something. <laughs> yeah, the, the, there is area of improvement for sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but... Uh, but uh, I have to say, um, the result is astonishing. Uh, what happened later, uh, just the talk was just before lunch, was the last one before lunch. So uh, time to get some food. And I met uh, a lot of people uh, asking for something about bottles. Uh, what our next plans, what we want to do, uh, our ideas, uh, uh, also just to say, greet up. So uh, during the talk, I asked anybody help for uh, OS3 integration or alternatives to OS3. And immediately I got in touch with uh, a guy who wants to help with it. So, um, useful in the end Re really really useful for the project and probably i don't know if it is the best thing but uh, uh, the most uh, visible result is uh, our uh, entrance in the gnome foundation as members yeah i saw so, that that was really imp i mean technically speaking as a kitty developer i should say something like oh no don't do that but i mean <laughs> <laughs> i mean when i saw that i actually was very happy for the project because especially because i saw the application and i saw that there were actually a lot of um, requests from the gnome developer saying that a lot of things had to be changed and then you actually do that did that in like one day uh, yes, so basically uh, on the Sunday, uh, we, we saw the feedback, what was Mirko, like midnight on, on Sunday, so just uh, w was Monday since a few minutes, basically. Uh, am I right, Mirko, it was, was around uh, that time? Uh, mm. More or less, we, we were going to sleep when... I don't remember who of us so that there was an answer. So we didn't want to sleep anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Just like for this <laughs> interview, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and, and we, we started reading and uh, uh, Mirko was ready to press shutdown. Then, uh, yeah, Mirko was ready to press shutdown on the PC and I started reading. And while I was reading the comments, I was hearing Mirko uh, mad and mad and mad <laughs> was like uh, um, I, I was a, a, a bit scared about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because because basically the um, the request the issue on Git, GitLab has been sent one year ago from Mirko. Okay, <laughs> and only okay. last week before last, someone got assigned to the issue. Just just before last, last uh, someone has been assigned. And during uh, the last, I complained with GNOME people about uh, the speed of the GNOME circle. Uh -huh. uh, so we received this answer on Sunday um, and was, it, it's there, it's very, very, very long with a lot of comments. And Mirko inside was saying, I waited one year, one complete year to get a kilometer of complaint. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. but and it, it worked out though, you, you managed it. Yeah, he, he preferred, I, I put a, an answer, I provided the first answer on, on the ticket because I wanted to uh, point out immediately um, some technical limit and sadly, 
that uh, the tester was not using the latest version of the software. So some complaint was already solved in the last version that was published days before because was the 28th. You know, we have the release the 14th and the 28th. So um, was using not the latest uh, release, but the one before. And so, uh, and this added the madness yeah. in Mirko. Understandably. <laughs> uh, in the end, after this comment, that was, uh, was beginning with a quick and not exhaustive comment. So was to say, okay, let, let's point out something, then we'll continue. Uh, we went to sleep. Um, I work for a company. I, I was in office Monday while Mirko was at home. And during the, the then probably is the first thing you did that morning to read again the, the, the comment, Mirko? Yes. W was it your coffee? No. <laughs> no? Okay. Just I after just turn on my PC and, okay. and start reading uh, all the issue and uh, preening <laughs> about it again. <laughs> so uh, let's say that uh, having slept uh, quite well, no, you, you never sleep well, but let's say you, you slept at least. Uh, so I was working, I was in the office, and Mirko started the texting me about the feedback and in the end uh, being agree with uh, who did the review because in the end the comment was not uh, stupid was not useless so uh, putting aside uh, I waited one year for this feedback he took the feedback for what it is as an analysis of the software of the application and since nine in the morning, I believe, Mirko started working on it, more or less nine in the morning, was it it, Mirko? Yeah, the, the first <laughs> thing, <laughs> I, yeah. I don't know. Okay, anyway, let, let's say about nine in the morning. And during the day, she texts me, sent screenshot, published something on here on Discord or on Telegram. So started spreading out uh, uh, screenshots, questions, uh, asking more feedback from the community to understand, okay, this is what Circle is saying, but what is the community saying? Because uh, we want as much feedback as possible. So in the end, the community was aligned with the Circle request. I go home after work uh, in the evening, I was like, I went on Discord, I believe, uh, at uh, 7 p.m. Uh, I get in touch with Mirko and continue with him working on, uh, on the feedbacks. And we started discussing on uh, uh, everything. We read uh, everything once more, once more, once more, once more until at about 1 a.m. in the night, <laughs> we ran the, um, the build process on FlatHub. So <laughs> we received the feedback around midnight. We saw it at midnight. We slept a few hours. And from 9 in the morning to 1 a.m. in the morning, Mirko mainly and together in the evening, went through the entire feedback to fix everything possible as soon as possible. There is still, still some missing fix due to technical issues, technical limitations, um, or something that requires really a lot of time to reach the result because it's not possible to do it in a day. You need many days only dedicated to that thing. So we said, okay, it's not important right now. We have plans to, we want to change many things with the migration to GTK4 and Libad White House. So we said, it's stupid to spend a week on something we know we are going to throw away because of the migration. So basically now the app looks to be circle, uh, uh, what's, the, what's the complaint? No, not complain. Compliant. 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 Yeah. 
uh, we'll see. We're waiting for a new feedback. So uh, that, that's uh, very uh, that's very nice. Yep. And um, now that you're like part of the GNOME Foundation, and but at LAS, did you manage to meet also some KD people, or were they running from you? <laughs> No, no, no. There, there, well, there were many people. Uh, to be honest, I don't remember who exactly was for GNOME or who was for KDE, because in the end, we're all friends to my eyes. Mm -hmm. uh, I was not selecting them for the, yeah. <laughs> the desktop environment, you know. Uh, so yeah, there, there was a mix of uh, a mix of people in the end. Nice. And uh, I know that you came out of LAS with some ideas for t-shirts because I've seen some designs in uh, the chat. So what's up with that? <laughs> yeah, I, I let Mirko explain that he published all the designs, so, spoiler and all the designs on his own personal Telegram channel. So who's lucky to be in that channel, seeing them. <laughs> can I can He's I show them. can I show them or are they secret? Uh, you, believe, you can show. Yeah, I believe we are going to do a tweet uh, or this night or tomorrow morning. So let's see who spoilers who spoils. <laughs> I don't know how to say <laughs> them first. Okay, okay. So let, let me actually show them to the public. And meanwhile, please explain what's the idea behind them, how they came to be. Uh, there is no idea, <laughs> I think. <laughs> That's the best idea. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, it's, it's just for fun. So Here we have. No, this. Or I I'll say the story behind it. Yeah, yeah, say, say the story behind uh, the shirts. Uh, I'll say it, Mirko, or do you want to? Yeah, you can say. Okay. <laughs> so. Uh, everything started with, uh, I absolutely don't remember what we were doing, but uh, there was the idea of a tweet, uh, by the way, at UseBottles, that is our Twitter username. So uh, maybe was for sure related to the usual, by the way, use Arch. Uh, so we say, okay, by the way, use bottles it was perfect. And there was the idea to go to the talk with a t-shirt with simply bottles on the front, the bottles logo on the front on the shirt, and on the back, by the way, at use bottles. So like to close the talk, turn around and go away with, by the way, use bottles. It was as a closure, a joking closure. Uh, for many reasons, we... Uh, but basically we said, okay, it's fun, let's do it. Then we said, mm, no, avoid it. Then, so uh, do it, don't do it. In the end, it was too late. Basically, it was simply too late to print the T-shirt. So at the end of the talk, I said this thing of, uh, I wanted to have a, a T-shirt and turn around to tell you, by the way, use bottles. And the crowd laughed at it. After the talk, more, few people told me, now I want the t-shirt. I want the, by the way, use bottles t-shirt. <laughs> so, and there was a guy ready to give me money in that moment, telling me, I give you the money now. When you have it, you'll ship to me. <laughs> so <laughs> I say no, because I, I had no idea about, are we really going to do it? So... <laughs> In the end, on the Sunday, uh, I spoke about, or maybe in the evening, because I had to drive one hour and a half, so uh, I called Mirko saying things about the event. <laughs> and I told him, people asked me for the t-shirt. They want the I use bottles t-shirt. <laughs> so on the Sunday, we joke about it on Twitter, doing a, a very quick design. The design was, okay, put the logo and open the text editor on the website we were using and write, uh, by the way, I use bottles, v very bad, <laughs> the quality was <laughs> bad. Uh, it's on Twitter, take a text, put it on a t-shirt and that's it. And end of the design, zero effort. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, 
uh, there has been some uh, comment about, ah, no, with uh, that design, I will not buy it, but if it will be better, uh, a lot of people will buy it. And we say, okay, should we really think about some kind of design? Should we really think about something funny to see? And in the end, some idea came up. The first of all was uh, better use bottles from Better Call Saul, uh, a TV series both me and Mirko love. And after doing the first t-shirt with better, call, uh, better use bottles, Mirko said, what about a complete set of t-shirts using TV series logos? And the set of t-shirts you have as board. So sooner or later, they could be on sale. <laughs> we don't know later. yet. <laughs> yeah. Uh, spoiler alert, we designed the store. Uh, <laughs> so it, the, the idea is more uh, something true than an idea <laughs> because is we already tried to configure a store, we designed the store, we tried to configure on a website that uh, allows you to, to buy and so on. Uh, we checked the prices, uh, w we made some research, we are almost ready to sell them. The real problem right now is how to get the money because you know in Italy, even for something so stupid, bureaucracy is so hard. So even just to get to give to the people something fun, even if we want to gift those t-shirts, it's hard. We can't do it in an easy way. So we are checking into bureaucracy of how to do it in a proper way. Then we could go online with a kind of store with the t-shirts you have uh, on screen. Nice, nice. And the last question I promise that I do still regarding the LAS. Uh, now that you're uh, GNOME Circle compliant, do you have plans on switching from GTK to Kurigami and actually joining KD community instead? Or J just to know? Just as... Not a switch, not a full switch. We are splitting uh, the back end from the front end. So we can make a uh, uh, multiple client for bottles. We, we, had, we just have a GTK uh, version, a CLI version that is fully independent from the GTK version. Uh, I want, as I, I already say you, uh, I want a Kirigami client. I, I absolutely want because I love Kirigami. <laughs> I, I love Kirigami. So uh, there will be a Kirigami client uh, for KDA, absolutely. We can also join KDA community, I think. Yeah, probably. Uh, d d depend I, I don't know if like the entirety of the project, I even if you have a client with Kurigami, uh, to join the KDA community, like you have to use the GitLab, uh, I think, I think, offered by KDA. So uh, I don't know if that's that would work for you, but uh, in theory, yeah, absolutely. And we will we would welcome you with open hands for sure. Although I'm just joking, of course I uh, I am not like trying to steer you away from the gnome circle and stuff. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, we are just <laughs> talking. We have the um, GitLab. <laughs> yep, the benefit for the um, GitLab uh, gnome GitLab. But uh, I personally hate uh, GitLab. I prefer GitHub. So the source code will be. Uh, will be on GitHub forever, probably, because, <laughs> uh, because uh, GitLab pipeline, I just uh, broken yeah. to me. I okay. hate uh, GitLab. Yeah, I was just thinking that actually uh, one, of, uh, one issue could be that uh, actually applying for being part of KDE as a project in theory requires hosting the project on a non-proprietary uh, Git uh, server and GitHub technically is proprietary, so 
that is technical issue but I mean uh, it's just speculation at this point of in time of course I'm I'm not the judge of Kitty by any means so and uh, makes sense anyway think that uh, um, me and Mirko photos or not already uh, did a tour of the git uh, providers uh, Atlassian uh, GitLab, uh, uh, GitHub, uh, and whatever was possible to test, we tested. And we have to say, today, GitHub is a step forward. Um, this doesn't mean GitLab can't be uh, a real competitor, absolutely. Uh, GitLab is a real competitor. But for the kind of use we are making today of the actions, of the pipelines, uh, it's difficult to change. I don't hide you that I have right now ongoing some tests for a possible switch to GitLab, but it's not easy because only just converting the usage we are doing of the actions to GitLab is not really easy. I'm studying about the conversions. For example, we also use Docker inside the, the action runner. So on GitHub, we have an action that runs Ubuntu, but inside runs Docker with Arch and makes operations. Uh, so it's not just, okay, use this distribution and run this command. It would be easy. It isn't. Uh, also, uh, GitLab has just switched, or from next month, switches to a limit of 400 minutes of build for public projects. Uh, right now it's unlimited, but someone abused it, of course, and they are going to 400 minutes, while GitHub is 2,000 minutes. You can apply for an open source project support and they give you uh, the enterprise license, if I'm not wrong, or something like that. Uh, but it's different process request. They could say you no. Know, uh, it's not so easy. Uh, so for sure someone will get mad to us because we are using GitHub instead of GitLab, but it's our requirement right now. Uh, this doesn't mean we don't like anything else. Just this is fitting our requirements. It's working well. People is getting what we want to build because what you get on the different operating systems is coming from what we build on GitHub. Uh, we'll see. Time will tell us. Okay, and to switch the topic entirely, uh, you probably know that some time ago I did a tweet asking my public if they had any questions about battles, and uh, some of them add. As an example, the first like question that I got, you actually got mad at and you replied to it immediately. Because it was, <laughs> when will we get .desktop files for installed programs? And you were like, uh, we did that already, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so th that's done. We can consider it done. There is another question from a KDE developer, which is rather interesting. And that is, uh, can we use battles to install battles in a battles battle? Mm, no, <laughs> because it's not released as a Windows binary. But in theory, if we release a fake bottle, a fake bottles as Windows binary, we could do that, Mirko. Uh, yes, <laughs> because we we could also build. Uh, no, with the .ui files, we can build a lookalike. Windows binary that does nothing that can be run in bottles. That should be okay. <laughs> nice to know, nice to know. Yeah, yeah. Are you yeah. going to do that though? <laughs> uh, your users will tell us. Co comment below. <laughs> we are on YouTube, no? Co comment below <laughs> and ask for bottles in bottles and. <laughs> We there might be a something. real use case here. It, it, yeah, yeah. It depends on how many comments, bottles on bottles. So please put like, subscribe, and comment with bottles in bottles, please. 
So the social part is done. <laughs> <laughs> uh, su subscribe, the especially subscribe, part. you know, to, to um, both my channel and the Bottles channel because they ah, right. do have a channel too. So let, let's point that out. Yeah, I'll, uh, put, uh, music. I'll put uh, the link in the video description if I don't forget to. Okay. So, but, it, but anyway, I also saw... I also saw that the logo of Battles like tries to avoid any alcoholic uh, look-alike battle, and that was actually by design. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, long short story: we have been complained to be promoting alcohol. <laughs> so now our logo includes a bottle of milk. <laughs> and that I could actually answer another of uh, the questions here, which is why is the runner called cafe instead cafe instead of whiskey? Such a missed opportunity. Well, uh, we avoided the accent. Mirko avoided the accent. Mirko wanted cafe. Cafe. I let him explain why. Uh, just because uh, using the accent can be a, a problem in paths uh, and, and other things. <laughs> How about the cafe in general? Uh, you wrote it in a cafe. Blog cafe. We, we drink a, a lot of cafe. <laughs> I think uh, th this was the, the, the... We have a Amazon because... subscriptions to coffee. So uh, Yes, we have. And I always have Red Bull in, uh, in my fridge. So this tells you something about how many caffeine <laughs> we drink and need to provide you two releases per month. <laughs> that does seem to be a common trend in uh, giving names. There, there is the caffeine uh, extension in Gnome. There's also the latte uh, doc for Kitty. So there is some interest in doing like... Can I do a joke? Yeah. <laughs> you you see in uh, Gnome both bottles, caffeine and so on. You have coffee, you have caffeine, something for adult people. In KDE you have milk. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> 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 I'm joking, people. I'm joking. Okay. Uh, the Fair real enough. question should uh, the real question should be why our first runner was called Paniglia. <laughs> Cafe uh, is the or is a uh, or new runner, but the first runner was called Vanilla, which uh, uh, is just a joke because uh, it was a vanilla uh, wine build, and it's just uh, Italian things. Uh, vanilla is vanilla in Italia, so it's just uh, yeah, I'm crazy probably. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, and it, there was also another name that we had to put uh, under the carpet after the comment about the logo. Chardonnay. Because we had Chardonnay. <laughs> so we had bottles with the kind of wine bottles as logo and a runner called Chardonnay. And so people said, but you're promoting alcoholism. Uh, no, it's all a joke around wine. <laughs> uh, but okay, <laughs> we switch yeah. it to coffee and coffee. That's it. <laughs> coffee it is. And uh, you mock Kerry for using latte, but uh, you do have a milk bottle. Latte is milk in Italian. You do have a milk button in your logo, so that we counts for you too. Sorry? <laughs> we are inclusive. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That, that, <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. You know, uh, as I said also to the to the talk, uh, we are all friends. <laughs> no hating, joking, but no hating. Okay. So um, another question. This one is actually serious. I think this one asks: uh, How can I install from an ISO file? As an example, I own a totally le legal copy of Sims 4. I don't know why they put emphasis on the totally legal part of it. <laughs> uh, it comes with I, an ISO. I may know the reason. 
<laughs> it comes with an ISO and I have to mount it and then run the setup.exe, exe, exe, but uh, I can't run on that on battles, does not install. What would you say to that? Well, uh, just a little explanation. Uh, uh, okay, the totally legal copy, I believe, comes from the fact we complained uh, multiple times people that was asking us to test software we don't own the license for and that is not having trial periods so we said we don't have a license we don't have the installer because it's requiring a license we are not going to download it in a, an illegal way just to test it and provide an installer and we also said if you have a license key that you know we can use and then deactivate to give it you back because multiple softwares allow it, uh, let's get in touch and we can try to have it running. But Did of course, we don't support the non-legal use of software yeah. to make it run. So if you have a license, let's get in touch if you can give us the license, we can also do a kind of remote connection and use your PC with your license to try to run it and make an installer for the community. And this answers also this guy who wants to install Sims 4. Um, if you tried it and it's not working, we have the GitHub repositories, uh, which Mirko is going to tell you which is the most correct one because he always goes crazy with the, with where to open the issues. But the programs to... repository. Okay, for this kind of request, programs repository, open an issue uh, telling us what are you trying to install. We check if we can have it uh, uh, on our own or we'll get in contact to you to understand how to test it and try to provide a community installer if possible because Bottles is magic, but there are limits. By the way, may I ask you quickly if you can uh, like, uh, maybe turn on your microphone audio slightly or get slightly closer to the microphone or something because uh, it's getting a bit low, a little bit low. Me or Mirko? Uh, you. Me? Okay. Strange. I can also gain a bit. Okay. Test, test, test. Yep, that's a Is bit it better? better. Yeah, it's a, okay. it's a bit better. And um, also, I, I know that you tweeted uh, that you're not planning to compete with Lutris. What's the difference with that project? Oh no, that question again. <laughs> <laughs> Pietro, uh, explain this. <laughs> I have an idea. The answer to this question is in the final part of the talk because it was a question from the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> now, the, the short answer is, seriously, short answer is um, Bottles and Lutris have different scopes. Lutris is focused on games. It's the main reason you use Lutris. It has also support to some emulators and so on. Bottles is born and the focus is run software, any kind of software. Then most of the community are players uh, because usually the software, Windows software you want to run on Linux, 90% it's games. So we look like direct competitors but we, in true, have different targets, um, also different goals for people. So we are not really competitors. You just use what fits you better. And indeed, we are also open to cooperate with Lutris to uh, go forward in both projects because we both also Mathieu from Lutris knows that we can get, uh, um, how to say, um, positive things of sharing 
in sharing. So uh, more we share, more both projects grow. So we are friends of Lutris in the end. Uh, people think we like fight uh, or we hate Lutris or in truth, no, we are kind of friends. We talk on Twitter with Matteo and it's everything fine. So yeah. it's a bit yeah. like uh, a lot of people think that like KD and GNOME developers fight between each other every day with sticks and in stones, true, but they actually don't true, no. <laughs> at all. They, so, they, yeah. they talk, they share ideas, they think how to provide a better experience to users. And so we are all friends in the end. Yeah, I think a bit of this came out. Uh, I remember um, recently there was this a bit of a controversial tweet, I think, by the Lutris uh, author and uh, there were some people saying, ah, if you were saying this, then I'll switch to battles. So maybe there was something coming out of that. Well, it was just uh, Matthew, I think. Uh, it's Matthew, the name. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't... Okay, Matthew. Um, Matthew. It's Ma it's Matthew. Matthew. Ma Matthew. Matthew. Okay. Uh, okay, perfect. Um, Matt. Uh, Matt. Matt. Uh, no, it's not Matt, no. Uh, he just uh, uh, dropped a wrong sentence uh, using the wrong words uh, and he's just a good boy. Uh, well, a good let's project. Say, let's say he didn't speak as Lutris. People has also to consider that uh, there are different profiles. There is Bottle's profile, Pietro's profile, Mirko's profile. There is Lutris profile and there is Matthias profile. So taking Matthias words as his project words, even if he's talking about Linux, where he, there was a complaint about how Flatpak is working and a complaint on how to get it working on the Steam Deck was his personal comment. He put effort to have Lutris Flatpak working on the Steam Deck. And th there was a discussion, an, an open discussion. A lot of people joined it. And there people started saying, okay, so if it is like that, we switch to bottles. But it's against what open source means. It, again, this is my opinion. I, I believe Mirko, I'm quite sure Mirko is aligned with me, but saying, is, instead of discussing with someone, uh, maybe Mathieu was totally wrong in that, in that tweet. It could be. But if you discuss, you can also understand the other point of view and you can reach a common point. If you just say, oh, so I use the other software, what is uh, your contribution to the community? We didn't, Mirko joined the discussion. I, I stayed aside. Mirko joined the discussion and Mirko discussed with him about why you say that. And through it, I made a comment, I believe. Yeah, I made a comment. And I also had, a hate, I, I gained a hater in that comment. Uh, uh, but Mirko joined the discussion. Mirko spoke with Mathieu in a public way and tried to understand and help because this is what open source is. This is what community is, no matter if it is open source or anything else. Yeah. If I so, may, uh, sorry. Uh, if I may add, like, my personal one. One thing that particularly impressed me of that event is that when that happened, I was actually uh, in a pub, like I was completely not checking Twitter. I was not at home. I was not caring. And I just quickly saw the tweet and I saw the people discussing with each other. I didn't really care about that particular tweet because I was in a pub. I was doing completely something different, but uh, maybe I put some likes somewhere. I don't remember. 
But something that has happened is that uh, one of the people got so angry about Lutris that actually uh, sent a message to me and think, I think also the battle saying that they were going to actually cancel their Patreon to Lutris and they actually wanted to give me money instead of Lutris and I, I didn't know the reason at all so I, I just gave him my Patreon and I received like 50 monies when I was in the pub so I thought okay that's the weird, weirdest thing ever because I don't know what the discussion was I don't know honestly I didn't know honestly back then if Lutris had done anything wrong but somehow I, I got involved in, the, in this and it, it was very hard to me to uh, step um, something that probably I should have done go ahead and say no uh, take a moment uh, breathe and think about that if you really want to do that because it was going to be in my advantage and maybe I should have done that I, I should have cared more that's something that I regret from that day but um, I don't know welcome on Twitter <laughs> <laughs> no that, that's, true, uh, that's true I made a I made at least a comment on, on that tweet and immediately gained a hater because of what I said. What was my thought? I may been have wrong. I, I'm not saying I was right. Uh, uh, that person is a, is a bad guy. Um, I may have been completely wrong. I probably also retweeted something uh, also from other people that joined. So there, there was a, a, a little mess in... in, uh, in a, kind of point of view um, so in the end everyone for sure said wrong things um, including Mirko uh, <laughs> nobody was right nobody was under person right indeed also uh, different people rectified so corrected what they said also the day after uh, but this um you can't control it are things that happen uh we are humans we fight then it's any each person can decide okay i i want to continue fighting or i want to be uh, more positive and try to be again into the community and contribute and help and try to be useful because um they, they said to you, okay, I remove the Patreon from him and give to you, okay, but why? I mean, uh, thank you, but why? Because of free speech? Uh, so, uh, unfortunately, there are things that happen, and I don't say they shouldn't because they could be opportunities. Those moments could be opportunities. Uh, money out of the discussion, but could be opportunities to um, learn something, improve something, uh, discuss about things, how are going. So um, it's not good they happen, but let them happen. And for sure, someone changed it from Lutris to Bottles. Lucky as, uh, I don't know, to be honest. Because uh, the next time we do a tweet where we don't agree on something, this person will say, ah, now yeah. I go to Lutris. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, are actions that do not completely make sense. And it's happened. That's it. Okay, so changing the subject, uh, do you have any plans to look into like uh, Darwin for Macintosh or like Android apps or these sort of things? We have plans for uh, Waydroid and Darlings. Uh, there are uh, many problems right now because uh, Waydroid re uh, requires uh, some kernel patches 
and doesn't work uh, at all at, in a uh, flat pack, which is uh, our main package or main uh, distribution format. Uh, we have plans for it. Uh, Darling uh, um, right now doesn't support uh, nine, 19% of macOS applications. So we probably uh, they don't support metal if I'm not wrong. Yes, they completely yes. miss the support to metal right now. Yes, that's the big problem. Um, we will support uh, WayDroid in the first place. But, uh, Maybe Hambox. Darling. Uh, let me see. Because. Uh, I don't remember the website. It's also difficult to find them right now. Okay. If I check. Uh, guys, you have to improve your website. <laughs> <laughs> ah, well, last commit 11 days ago. They are, they are working on it. Yeah, they are working on it for sure. Mm, but um, where was the, there was the note? Okay, does it support uh, GUI apps? Almost. Almost. <laughs> they have basic experimental support for running simple graphical applications. So, cross finger, uh, fingers crossed, uh, because sooner or later, uh, we may have bottles on OS X. Which is super support. OS 6 uh, application on Linux, not on OS 6. Yeah. I don't want to provide bottles for OS 6. I, I, I'm honest. <laughs> so bottles for OS 6, <laughs> not on OS 6. I'll, yeah, I'll never do it. And uh, what are your, what are your um, future plans for bottles now that, you know, everything? <laughs> what are you going to do in the future? We have uh, layers, which basically uh, solve the fix the problem um, Pietro explained it on uh, on start this video. I don't know how to say. It's uh, uh, using uh, running up a Windows application uh, using Wine in the uh, on on Wine prefix pre prefixes. <laughs> My English is very bad. Um, <laughs> it's also 10 to 1 o'clock. Yeah, it's 1 o'clock so... a.m. So... <laughs> yeah. Um, there are many problems running a Windows application as uh, those uh, requires different dependencies, different configuration, different technologies like uh, DixVK, uh, VKV3D, and many more. And Lutris and play on Linux and many other uh, install one application in uh, one wine prefix just to uh, fix the problem at the the root I can say and so uh, one application simple can can't hit uh, other application so there are no conflicts uh, with dependencies, configuration, and many more. We are planning, we are uh, developing, there are uh, some code in uh, bottles uh, to uh, provide layers to Wine, so you can just, uh, I, I'll explain very simple this thing. Uh, we, we can uh, have just one wine, wine prefix and uh, every application and uh, every dependency have uh, his own uh, layer. So you can just have uh, multiple application, multiple uh, dependencies, configuration, components, technologies, and many more in just one bottle. 
without uh, conflicts and without breaking uh, anything. It just uh, will work. This is or uh, it's very. Uh, I explain it very simple. It's not very simple at all. <laughs> it's very <laughs> problematic thing. <laughs> we we need support on on this. Um, but this is uh, the the big feature we we will implement uh, in bottles in the future. Many maybe Pietro can explain this uh, better than me. <laughs> Well, indeed, uh, the normal behavior today is uh, one program per prefix. So it's isolated and it just runs. Even the depends dependencies are there, it just runs. This means you uh, duplicate data and require a lot of space on disk. So our idea is to um know when you install something know what are the dependencies of this thing and avoid duplication of installation so when you uh, run a bottle this is mounted on the fly taking the requirements of the software and it runs so when you stop the bottle basically i'm simplifying a lot <laughs> When you stop the bottle, uh, you don't have a hard copy of what you don't need until you need it again. So it's a, a system to manage uh, this behavior and to avoid indeed to require a lot of space on disk just because programs can't live together. Also, um, you may need uh, two bottles for two different games that in theory they can live together. Imagine games from Steam, from Epic Games, they just live in the same bottle. But maybe a game works better with a different DXVK version compared to another game or uh, a different runner or anyway different settings. And you have two options. You modify the bottle every time you change game or you create two different bottles requiring two times the space. With layers, we want to address this issue and say, OK, uh, you can configure a per program setting, but we manage the dependencies in the background and avoid to install you multiple times the same thing. So this is the goal in a very simplified way. Uh, but it's not as easy as I explained <laughs> yeah. and is requiring a lot of effort to develop it. Yeah, uh, there's a lot of things that seem easy in theory but are not in practice. Like I've just finished implementing floating panels in Kitty Plasma and I can easily tell you that was like, it sounded so easy three months ago <laughs> now it has been the most difficult thing I've ever done. So yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I totally user agree. will say it, it's just a floating panel. Yeah, I mean, just yeah. that's a margin, right? It's yeah. so simple. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, to, to us they will say, ah, you have just to move files. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So and, uh, another simpler thing and this is really simpler doesn't mean it's easy but it's simpler thing we are uh, planning is uh, cloud sharing so do a backup of your configurations of your uh, bottles only in matter of configuration so don't it's not a full backup but it's a settings backup on your account and go to a different PC, log in with your data, and start creating the bottles just you created uh, days ago, months ago, on a different PC, or on the same PC. Maybe you change the distro, you require it to format or whatever, and you just recover your settings with a uh, uh, sharing functionality in matter of share to a friend, share to the public. So create a link for a friend, for anybody, and share your bottles. So 
a user that gets something to run very smooth can really share his setting just with the, uh, a link. Basically, the idea is a link. So you publish a link and anybody can get your bottle configuration. Understood. Okay, so just to wrap it up, is there anything you want to say in general? Is there like any link that I should include in the video description for you? Anything? By the way, use bottles. <laughs> <laughs> what else? Yeah. I, I'll totally get one of the t-shirts then. <laughs> yeah, we have also to do the usebottles.com t-shirt, Mirko. So the website is linked because the website is, again, usebottles.com. So, <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, uh, our main, main and favorite communication channel is Twitter. So if anybody wants to get in touch with us, just tag us on Twitter and write us on Twitter and we'll answer for sure. Uh, our website is indeed usebottles.com where you can find all the information, documentation, uh, both for end users and for developers. In the footer, you have uh, Discord, GitHub, uh, Metrics, uh, whatever. You'll find everything in the footer of the website. And you can also come on Discord to say, hey, I use bottles, by the way. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you so much. It's uh, 1 a.m. like almost officially at this point. So it's been a, a long talk and a very interesting one. So thank you so much for actually uh, doing this at uh, midnight to 1 a.m. That, uh, uh, that was so nice of you. <laughs> so <laughs> Thank you for hosting us. And uh, by the way... Hopefully, hopefully, if we are lucky, uh, you'll start doing live streams on YouTube, and uh, right, that you do have a plan, some sort of plan in that. Uh, it's one of the main ideas, yes. <laughs> it's one of the ideas. Maybe with some luck, I'll be able to participate a bit in uh, the live streams if you, if you yeah, allow we, me. <laughs> we'll still don't. Know. Well, there is the idea. Okay. Uh, the main point is what kind of live? Yeah. We use bottles, we develop bottles, we tell you things about bottles, mix it. So, uh, there are so many possibilities and are so different, um, public. So in our community, there is who is interested in the development, who is interested in using it, who is interested in just talking to us, with us. So what kind? That's this another... is the main question. Do you have an answer? Yeah, that's another question for our viewers right now. So be sure to comment what you would like to see. Bottles in, in bottles a... in YouTube Live off. <laughs> yep. So. With you, uh, I'll see you on like Twitter and uh, our Telegram chat. With you instead, I'll see you tomorrow with another video. I don't know about what, I'll still have to record it. And thanks everybody for watching and thanks you all for actually allowing me to do this. See ya. Thank you very much. See you.